PRI 2023, Hidden Horsepower Live, Jared Alderson, Kill Devil Diesel. So he's my North Carolina neighbor. Yes, sir. We're happy to be here, man. It's a good show. Well, you guys, it says there's more horsepower than just gasoline engines and all that. Absolutely. You guys make some killer horsepower diesel stuff. So yes, talk about what the challenges are with diesels that makes them a little bit different than gasoline engines. You know, so of course anything diesel is high boost, you know, and mm -hmm. everything even from the factory is 30 pounds of boost, you know, and the aftermarket stuff we're 90, 100, 120 pounds of boost, you know, and then of course we'll also run 120 nitrous. pounds of boost. That's crazy. So trying to keep rings sealed up with all the cylinder pressure, 16, 17 to 1 compression ratio, you know, and then four stages of nitrous on top of that. Uh, you know, the, the ring seal, you know, is, is, is super critical. So that's been, uh, you know, an awesome opportunity to work with you guys on some stuff there. Uh, and, Let's talk uh, about that a little bit. Sure, I mean, yeah. I, mean that, I think that's one of the things we've heard, I say the most, mm -hmm. is, is that the diesel market, because of how much fuel you're putting in the engine, Sure. That's where I say this whole surface finish journey, which if you're a hidden horsepower listener, uh, follower, you know that this has been something we've been preaching for years. Yep. I think you guys almost led the way for the gasoline guys because you had that problem, because you put so much fuel in in a short amount of time. Uh, the fuel, the, the temperature, you know, so we're 2,000 plus degree GTs, you know, and so in the two components of that, you touch on surface finish, you know, so the ring, obviously the cylinder wall, mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's been, uh, you know, an evolution to try and you know, figure out what works, you know, and it's been the factory engines, you know, and even, you know, they've changed through the years, so they've been in this horsepower race from the, the power stroke stuff keeps us busiest, but it's yeah. gone from the 7.3 all the way through to the 6.7, that 500 horsepower engine, 1,200 foot pounds of torque from the factory with a warranty. And so, you know, looking at what the OEMs have done, uh, you know, and, and how that's changed compared to what we've had to do to keep up with, uh, you know, the race car guys, 2,000 horsepower stuff, uh, the cylinder wall surface finish, uh, you know, measuring with your upgrade kit, the SD210 yep. upgrade kit, you know, we've learned so much before and after the runs. Uh, and uh, uh, To be able yeah. to see that surface finish, to actually be able to yeah. see yeah. what is going on. Absolutely. So for people who are watching and listening, kind of give them an idea of how much that finish has changed from where it was, like what the factory finish was to what you're doing now. So, and in terms of numbers, you know, so the factory stuff, a brand new 674 block, we'll see an RVK number, uh, so like your valley, you know, so mm -hmm. we want a, you know, valley and a plateau, valley yep. plateau. And so, you know, your valley obviously will holds the oil and keeps the ring alive. Yep. Um, and so we'll see a valley on a stock engine of, you know, 30 or 40 RVK. Uh, we'll be 100, 120 RVK on our competition stuff, uh, just to help keep the ring alive and help hold enough oil to keep everything sealed up. Right. So that's been super critical. And, and so not only, you know, the measurement, which we've had our you know, SJ210 for years, but it was like, you know, finally putting on glasses and being able to actually see yeah. know, the cylinder wall surface finish with, uh, you got a USB microscope, it's pretty cool. Yep. So I would start sending that with every engine. It's kind of a birth certificate for the engine. There you so go. So we finish a machine work for an engine, you know, we send all the data, you know, cylinder wall surface finish data to the customer. It's kind of a, kind of a birth certificate that comes with it. And, and so then, you know, if we get that engine back, race engine back, and we freshen it up, it's pretty cool to see where we started and where we're at now, you know, how it's holding up, what, what can we change to, to continue to evolve. So, you know, recently we did a test with mm -hmm. the, the you know, conventional ring versus the gapless ring, and yep. that was the first time I got to experience it. Okay, you've been yep. doing this for a while. Yeah, and so we've seen, you know, some of our customers, you know, 10 or 12 years ago, just in a factory ring pack, and, you know, you're running into struggles there, and it's like, uh, you know, trying to get data and actually put a quantifiable number to it. You know, guys, you know, streetcar guys, don't have all the data log and stuff set up. They said, man, this thing's no blow by anymore with the gapless ring. I'm like, well, that's cool. And uh, some of our race car guys, especially in the last couple of years, you know, we've gone from like eight, nine, 10 PSI of crankcase pressure yeah. uh, down to less than one PSI. PSI crankcase pressure, so a very quanti quantifiable number, you know, just a fraction of, uh, you know, the actual crankcase pressure we've seen before. So, you know, not only not only is the, the seat of the pants, the, you know, the old oil filter cap test, pull yeah. the oil filter cap off and, you know, uh, but, you know, we've data to back it up and it's been It was pretty neat killer. when we were checking the oil level and you're pulling the dipstick out and it's not black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly, like, yeah. wow, that, that's, that looks like oil steel, not like tar. Well, and then, you know, and then so then also further back that up with data and the oil samples, you know, so we see, uh, you know, again, you say the, the, the visual you see to the pants, you know, that's not black. Well, then in the oil sample stuff, so we've been using on our OEM factory replacement stuff and the race car stuff, uh, it's like getting your blood tested at the doctor, yeah. you know, and they tell you what, you know, you're high in sodium, you're low in whatever, you know, and so uh, we can actually put a number to uh, how black the oil is. And, you know, you guys, I've learned so much from you guys, from your, your podcast and hidden horsepower and everything on, 
uh, you know, on oil samples, and uh, you know, we continue to learn and evolve, and how we can, you know, dissect that. Here's a blood sample. Now, what do we need to change? You know, right. we need to exercise more. You know, and uh, so. it is pretty neat with, with the speed diagnostics kits. You can see that fuel dilution, mm -hmm. and you can see that correlation to engine wear. Yeah. That fuel dilution goes down, wear goes down. And fuel dilution goes up, wear goes up. It's like not rocket science. So, well, and it, it's not rocket science, maybe, but it is science. And it it's is black and white, and it's not. You know, you pull stuff apart and you look at it, and your eyes are a powerful tool, but. Uh, you know, it's not the black and white, the quantifiable number, you know, where we can say, and so we can actually track improvements now, yep. you know, so we can actually quantifiably say, not just what well, feels better, sounds better, mm -hmm. looks better, it is better. Um, and full circle. Full circle, yeah. yeah. So it's been a, uh, you know, killer experience, you know, uh, use your ring grinder forever. The uh, gapless rings have been, uh, you know, huge hit, and uh, now they have the diesel rings. Out yes. Now is the standard, yep. uh, standard uh, deal that pretty much drop in. They don't even really need to. No, yeah, you mean literally you can drop them right in. That's, yeah. that's the beautiful part about the, uh, the new gap gapless ring package for mm -hmm. the street guys is yep. it it's if you know what your model car you have yep. whatever your overbore is yep. these just drop right in and off you go absolutely and you know and they've been uh, they've been a super popular upgrade and so these these have uh, a coating on them right yes yeah, so as, as opposed to a traditional you know diesel type ring that has like a chrome face on it yep. these are a martin Siddick duct aligner so even a higher quality base material mm -hmm. than the normal okay. as opposed to being chrome it's actually a pvd crn coating okay so it's even lower friction, longer durability. So it's a more durable, better ring. And and so that's a technology that didn't exist 20 years ago. No. And and that's you know. And so that, where where did that technology come from? Is that the OEs? Is it racing, NASCAR? Where does that come from? So it really came out of aerospace okay. 20 years ago okay. to be borrowed and put in the NASCAR yep. and improved it in NASCAR. And we started looking at what you guys were doing mm -hmm. on the diesel stuff, and we're like, man, in this kind of environment with this kind of abuse, this is the better coating for it. Well, we need all the help we can get, you know, and, and you look at where, you know, you talk about race car, street car, well, that's kind of the, the cool part of the diesel world is we can kind of have your cake and eat it too. You can have a yeah. six, 700 horsepower street car that you can still tow your trailer with and unhook it and, you know, sled pull, drag race, you know, just have a little bit extra passing power, but it is harder on parts, you know, and so we need, you know, we need that extra help. We need, uh, you know, keep rings sealed up for the extra long life and everything. And it's uh, so, you know, super awesome to have a, a product now that's off the shelf. It's not a custom order, you know, it's off the shelf and call and you have them for 6.0, 6.4, uh, and I think we're close on 6.7. You might have 6.7 Yeah, now. yeah, working on, working on all that cool. stuff. I mean, but that, that's just the nature of this industry, though, right, mm -hmm. is that people like yourself go out there, push the limits, mm -hmm. we find the weaknesses, then as an industry, we start backfilling and coming up with better parts to help meet that demand. So now that, that was, what was on the edge five years ago is now just commonplace. Oh, it's easy. Commonplace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And now we're, and now we're looking at, you know, we're you looking at next, next year. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that's, that's what Hidden Horsepower is all about, right? Is pushing those boundaries, finding the next thing. It's like, you can't just sit still, that's no fun. Right, yeah, well, exactly. You know, we're moving forward and trying to progress and you look at where, you know, we can talk about the OEs and how even the OE trucks have gone from 200 horsepower to 500 horsepower and in the aftermarket, you know, in the racing side, you know, the diesel stuff, such at the drag strip, mm -hmm. used to kind of be the sideshow. You know, they used to kind of be the, uh, uh, the, 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 the circus act, you know, and I right. say that lovingly. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the circus too. Um, but, uh, you know, now they're a real contender at the track, you know, and right. you're finding, you know, like Ryan Milliken and some of their stuff in X275, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's amazing to see how not only has it gone from, you know, kind of a, uh, what's the right word, a, a novelty or a... Uh, yeah, a novelty you know, is a good word, yeah. A, yeah. You know, novelty... Well, well you know, that's interesting, but it's not serious. And, and now it's a contender, so it's like, you know, and as that data has progressed and gotten better, you know, and it's like the next iteration, the next iteration is, you know, now it's now they're no longer the sideshow act. Uh, you know, I mean, Ryan won, uh, you know, the X275 race this year, and uh, it's, uh, you know, we've had customers that are now, you know, catching up, you know, in a four-wheel drive, 5,000-pound drag truck that are catching up to, you know, the, the gas car guys for years, and so it's, you know, they've got a head start on us, you know, in, in performance parts and stuff for 50 years, and, uh, but uh, it's, uh, you know, the diesel stuff is coming See, I think you guys are actually in a great position because, like you said, maybe there's 30, 40, 50 years head start on technology, but you get the benefit of being able to jump and leapfrog sure. all the intermediate steps. You go, sure. go from back here, 
to right there because that's the thing that I, I'm seeing in the digital part that's fascinating is that there's that blend of cutting edge technology jumping right to where we are now. Well, it's kind of the wild west, you know. And so you look at yeah. you look at where stuff came from, you know, uh, in terms, you know, again, quantifiable data in seconds. You know, where we were five years ago and ten years ago, you know, not difference of you know tens and hundreds. Uh, it's seconds right. you know, that yeah. they picked Gi up. Giant so, leaps. Yeah. yeah. So it's you know two thousand horsepower into one thousand horsepower. You right. Know? And uh, so. So yeah. what do you see coming next? What what's the thing that you're kind of seeing on the near horizon? In your uh, industry, so uh, you know, so obviously emissions play a huge role, and yes. everything that the diesel industry has been under the microscope there. And yep. so you know, uh, the more obviously the more uh, fuel we keep in the combustion chamber instead of uh, the oil, obviously right. uh, super huge. And uh, and so obviously everything we do for our you know on the street customers, you know, um, it has to be compliant. Uh, and so you know anything that we can do, you know, we have performance here. If we can get some of that, um, help keep things clean with good ring seal, help keep yeah. the engine running smoothly. You know, we offer a package now that, that remains compliant because we're not giving up a bunch of blow by on, yeah. you know, by, you know, typically, you know, in, in 20 years ago, we made more power, uh, make the cylinder bigger, you know, so you didn't right. ball the piston and you didn't, and, and now we can actually keep the engines, uh, you know, tighter, uh, you know, we can build the engines uh, so they are, um, with the steel pistons, for example, you know, right. we're, we're, you know, 2000s piston to wall, um, so now with the gapless ring, you know, you're not losing, with piston rock, you're not losing your yes. ring seal, um, and so it's, uh, you know, just a little small incremental changes like that, we're able to see uh, some, some pretty cool uh, strides and again, having your cake and eating it too. Um, and you know, now trying to keep the emissions and everything intact, that's where the industry's going to be sustainable. That's where everything has to has to live. We have to offer products that are compliant for the street. And uh, and so that's that's been a big part of trying to make an engine. Diesel's, you know, talking about history and where we've come from to where we're going. It's gotten cleaner, yes. um, you know, and so, uh, you know, the tuning. Oh, that's in, injector technology, right? Injector technology, common rail over some of the old mechanical stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, hey, we're putting, hopefully putting less fuel uh, into the oil. Yep. And even if you look at the, uh, you know, the cars of the drag strip, you know, uh, again, you know, it used to be kind of the exhibition act, uh, you know, to be, you know, the whole drag strip would be roll right. roll Yeah, exactly, yeah. And now they're crispy clean, you know, they might have yep. a, a teeny puff at the line and then they're as clean, you know, the rest of the way down the track. And uh, the reality is the less coal you're rolling, the more combustion you're making. Oh, if we'd have burned that in the engine, you'd right. be going even faster. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. I think that's what's kind of neat. I know, uh, you know Vince Raider's a good buddy of mine, yep. right? We're going to try some of that dimpled piston technology. I can't well, wait. Because you got combustion analysis. Yep. Like, like, here's it. You want to know whether or not it works? Well, combustion analysis is going to tell you if it works or not. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is going to be, I, this, this, I think 2024 is going to be a lot of fun. I think so. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out there. Uh, it's, you know, we live in such a cool, we're all so spoiled here at PRI with oh, all yeah. the cool race cars yeah, and exactly. cool technology, you know, and it's like, it's 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 hard to keep up with it all. Uh, but uh, we live in such a good time where all that technology can kind of, you know, culminate into, you know, these big leaps and bounds forward. So super exciting time. Oh, well, yeah, again, we're here in Disneyland, it's simply for motorheads. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You know, and for you guys who are watching, and, and ladies who are listening, because we've had people come by this week, right? Absolutely. Men and women alike who are hidden horsepower followers and fans, and they depend upon these podcasts because not everyone can always make it to the shows. Yep. They look at us and say, hey, listen, we, we want this information. Absolutely. Because it's, if you're somewhere remote and you can't may, be here right now for whatever reason, mm -hmm. this is valuable information that gives them perspective on the things they need to be working on. You talk, like you saw, talking about having your profilometer and then going from just a profilometer to trace boss to be able to mm -hmm. see it. Those are those quantifiable things of like, how do I make my program better? How do I do a better job for my customer? Absolutely. I love that birth certificate line. Like, can I borrow that, by the way? Because <laughs> I love that. Like, Absolutely. here's the birth certificate. Here's how your engine was prepared yep. when it left. Yep. So you know, you're not guessing, you can know. Well, what was done to my engine? Or what was, you know, what did I actually get for my mm -hmm. money, you know? And, and so we try and be transparent. We find a lot of customers, uh, and they don't live this. They're not in the industry necessarily. They just want a truck to drive, you know, yeah. whether they're at the racetrack or whether they don't have to know the RV and RPK, that's our job. Uh, but, you know, we do want to at least demonstrate, uh, you know, be able to show them, here's what goes into this engine package. And, uh, you know, and that's what we find that most customers are, are perceptive to why, you know, learning the why, you know, yeah. why why we do that, why why it's important and why they should even, you know, uh, you know, make sure that they're... Uh, well, you know, like your oil change subscription thing, that, mm -hmm. that, that's like an out step for that. Right here, sure. you trusted me to build the engine. Mm -hmm. Here, I showed you what we did. And here's what we recommend you do in terms of how to maintenance and service it. And we gave you 
recommended oil and filters. Here's the analysis kit to check on the health, where you yeah. make it turnkey so it's easy. Well, and so these are investments. You know, anything you can do to protect your investment, you know, whether it's a race car or uh, you know your daily driver, anything you can do to protect that investment uh, and ensure that it's healthy. You know, again, it's, it's no different than getting your blood checked at the doctor. You know, right. you're going for a checkup, and uh, uh, and so having that visibility, you know, again, seeing uh, seeing things that we couldn't see before. Uh, you know, in the oil analysis. So you know, uh, at, a, at an interval of your choosing, you have oil, a filter, uh, and then your oil sample kit showed up. We send the oil sample off. You guys tell us hey, everything looks good. Hey, you know, we have, you know, might have a fuel system issue we need to look at. Yeah. Uh, and you catch that beforehand, it saves you thousands of dollars in the right. long run, and you know, helps protect the investment. And make sure, let's make sure everything's running optimally. You know, if there's you know, tuning changes or you know, parts again that we can't see, it helps to give us visibility and it helps finally turn the lights on to the stuff that's been you know, been in the dark on for a long time. So it's uh, uh it's been super popular. We've uh, We've had great luck, and you know it also is a um, you know it's a great diagnostic tool too. You know, again, yes. if we have you know anytime there's a question you know on anything, you know, is it an injector, is it a you know, compression, is it whatever? Uh, it, it's a great insight into what's actually going on inside yep, so of the engine. you kind of focus in on where this thing is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you can eliminate things or highlight. Oh, need to look over here. Mm -hmm. and, and so you're you're a a, a, a tri tri tribologist. Tribologist. Yeah, tribologist. Okay. Friction, wear, lubrication. Okay, and uh, and that's and, and so that's so you're that's the the science of uh, identifying what's going on in that sample yeah, so in that engine. Back to the doctor analogy, right? Mm -hmm. So where the oil test is or the fuel or the blood test mm -hmm. is the doctor's tool yep. to help diagnose you mm -hmm. as a tribologist, oil testing is my tool to help me understand your engine, what's going on inside that engine. Yep. So hey, because it's easier to take a blood sample than go cut it's inside you to find out, it's, right? It's, it's less That's invasive. A, exactly. It, it, exactly. Yep. So it's a non-invasive way of figuring out what's going on, and that's what oil analysis is, a non-invasive way of knowing what's going on inside your engine. Well, and, and so you can catch something sooner, uh, just no different than the doctor. You know, you catch something sooner, uh, you know, you can tackle it before it becomes a major problem down the road. I love this guy, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So we, we love you guys, we love Total Seal. You know, you guys have been a uh, wonderful partner for us, even back in our, our Monster Jam days, worked with Richard Midget, yeah. uh, building monster truck engines and every one of those. How was that? That had to be a crazy experience oh, it was in life. never a dull moment, you know. I can imagine. Uh, never a dull moment. Uh, a wonderful experience. I learned so much from Richard, and uh, every one of those blown alcohol motors had Total Seal rings in it. Yeah. And uh, super, you know, super excited to see you guys come out with the diesel line now. Yeah. And uh, we can, uh, you know, now offer those in our engines now too. So it's a, uh, uh, you know, whirlwind. You know, like I said, we're living in Disney World here, but uh, yeah. it's it's great. Cool. That's why we do these hidden horsepower lives from the PRI show. So in case you weren't here, you still got to be here anyway. Total Seal piston rings that perform.